I'm Lori Marrero, creator of the Clutter Diet book and online program, and welcome to my new closet in my new house. I'm so excited to show it to you. The builder, when I was building this house, was going to put in just uh, one rod and one shelf, and that really wasn't going to meet my needs. So I had the builder just leave everything out, leave this closet completely blank, because I didn't want to have to rip anything out and start over. And I went about choosing a custom closet company to help me design the space for my goals and my needs. And the company I chose was More Space Place. They are a franchise. They're all over the United States. And they also did the Murphy bed that was in the video about my guest room that you might have seen. So they did a fantastic job. You can see them at morespaceplace.com. And I want to show you everything we did. We had the goal of putting all my clothes in one space. So think about it. Sometimes people buy a bedroom set and they have a chest of drawers in the bedroom. And then they also have their clothes in the closet. So when they get out of the shower, they have to go into the bedroom to get their underwear or their socks, and then they have to go into the closet for the rest of the clothes. So I didn't want to do that, and I have moved countless clients' drawers or you know created new drawer space inside the closet um, so that they wouldn't have this problem either. So we needed to put drawer space in here, we needed a shoe space, lots of things. So we accomplished all of those goals, and I'm really excited to take you on a little tour. Here is one of my favorite things about the new closet. I have an ironing center here. So I have the clothes that need to be ironed folded up here ready. I've got a steamer and I've got an iron and there is a plug down there handy for when I need to plug the iron in. But the best part is I have a built-in ironing board that comes out just like this. And I can open it all the way up and I have a place to do all of my ironing right here in the closet. Now if you watched my video about my laundry room space, I mentioned that the function of ironing that often is found in a laundry area, I had moved elsewhere in the house. And this is what I was talking about. I also wanted to show you here that I have um, my small purses lined up and all these little tiny clutch bags, I keep them pushed up next to each other with one of these shelf dividers. This is an acrylic shelf divider. You can use these for stacks of folded clothing, and I really do like them for purses. So they slide right on, and you don't even have to install anything, and it keeps things from toppling over onto each other. In some of my other videos, you may have heard me talk about a valet rod, and I certainly wanted to have a valet rod in this closet. This is a telescoping rod that comes out this way, and I use it to hang up things when I come back from the dry cleaner to take the plastic off. I also use this when I'm packing for a trip and I need to stage out some clothing, or even when I'm just bringing the laundry up from the downstairs area after I've hung it up out of the dryer, I put it here to kind of just deal with it a little more easily as I'm putting the clothes away. Now I mentioned that I wanted to have all my drawer space inside the closet, and I accomplished that by having two stacks of drawers here. These top two are very shallow and they're lined with velvet, so they are jewelry drawers. And I have little inserts that I can order uh, for various functions in there. So this one's for rings and pins. And I just put costume jewelry in here. This is for everyday stuff that's not valuable. If it's really valuable, I put that away safely. This is not locked up or anything. You can get a custom closet company to put a lock on your jewelry drawer if you want to do that. I have a couple of more surprises here right behind me. This is a scarf rack that pulls out and I can easily see and select uh, my different scarves. And I want to point out that there are budget alternatives to a lot of these ideas. So even if you don't have a full out custom closet, you can get something like this product and just hang it with your hanging clothing. I've used this for years actually. Um, and just poke your scarves through there and that gives you a lot of visibility. That's really the goal of your project is the visibility. So, here is another really fun one that's almost as much fun as the ironing board. I have a full length mirror right behind me, but I don't have it out unless I need it. So look, it swivels out. I just pull it out like this, and there I have it. And then I can put it back, and it's not in the way, and I can get to this hanging space back behind here a little more easily. A lot of fun, right? And finally, let me show you this great belt rack. It's very similar to the scarf rack that you saw before. This pulls out right here and holds all the belts and gives me visibility to the belts, which is the goal of any organizing project, as we know. And if you're looking for a budget alternative to that idea, you can get these belt racks that hang on your clothing rod and just do the same kind of thing. 
So our next video is going to be talking about the 10 things that you must consider before organizing any closet. And I'm going to be showing you a few more little tips and tricks here in the closet in that video. See you next time and may you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough.